geologists are giving us warnings concerning Italy's Mount Vesuvius. This was concerning the Pompeii destruction years ago. This Italy volcano could erupt soon, with millions at risk, they say. Vesuvius could erupt soon. Millions who live in close proximity are at extreme risk, according to a documentary. Vesuvius might be the most famous volcano of all time because it obliterated the ancient city of Pompeii in the destructive volcanic eruptions in history, 79 AD, leaving an estimated 2,000 people victims to that. Molten rock was thrown into the sky, pulverized pumice and hot ash spewed down Vesuvius slopes at a rate of 1.5 million tons per second over the city's 12,000 residents. The last time it erupted was in 1944, seven months after the Allied invasion of Italy, meaning that Vesuvius is an extremely active volcano. And according to Underworld, an educational YouTube channel, it could well be on its way to erupting in the near future. We're going to take a look at uh, the GPS stations around there to see what's happening with the uh, area, the uh, geology of the area. Now, in a short documentary exploring 2022's potential volcanic blasts around the world, the narrator says Mount Vesuvius could erupt again and soon. The Vesuvius volcano is considered to be one of the most dangerous in the world, not only due to how active it is, but because 3 million Italians live so close to it that it could be, uh, they could be affected by a future eruption, of course. Half a million people live even closer than the rest in what is known as the danger zone, quote unquote, making it the most densely populated volcanic rain region in the entire world. The government of Italy is concerned about Vesuvius and that is actively trying to get people to move away from the Domus vicinity. How are they going to do that though? Officials are creating a national park around the volcano that no one will be allowed to live in. And to help with the fallout, they will offer people direct financial incentives to move elsewhere. That's around $40,000 uh, per person. And the end goal for the government is to get to the point where the population around the Vesuvius volcano could be evacuated in just a few days. Now this is one of the craters of Vesuvius and you can see in the background is the city, the populated area. So that's how close they are to this volcano. I highly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. And here we are again, Vesuvius with the, the city underneath. And you can see that it's they're even uh, they even have residences on the base of the volcano, on the flanks of it. So they want people to move out. The end goal of the government is to point where the population around Vesuvius could be evacuated in just a few days. When Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD and destroyed the city of Pompeii in Heraclium, an estimated 2,000 people died in Pompeii. But as the documentary narrator notes, an eruption of a similar size in near future would surely be much, much worse, he says. It was once a widely held belief that Vesuvius erupted in one fateful explosion and Pompeii's inhabitants without a chance of escape. But more recent analysis uh, and research suggests that the volcano spewed the contents not in one intense batch, but rather over a period of nearly one day, 24 hours. Dougal Germ, geologist who studied the remnants of the ancient Roman city of Pompeii, told the Smithsonian Channel documentary Secrets, Gangs of Pompeii, that evidence at the site shows that those living in the city would have raced to escape you know, going to the shores in order to get onto boats to leave, while others may have decided to stay. He said the key understanding the cataclysmic eruption is that it did not take place in an instant. Yes, 24 days, 24 hours, which is still very little time. Now, examining the stone layers and sediments from deposits of the eruption episode, he's been able to read the various stages of the eruption. He explains people think that the whole eruption happened almost instantaneously, but actually this white pumice built up to about this point over several hours. This is by Joel Day on Express UK. 
Let's take a look at the GPS stations around there to see what type of movement is going on there. Here we are at Volcano Discovery. Vesuvius is in the middle of Italy right there. It's green. And we have had uh, earthquakes. December 12, 1.7, 0 0.2 kilometers down. December 6, 0 0.7, uh, 0.1 kilometers. So basically, their surface, this one is 15 miles down, 2, 2 kilometers, 2 magnitude on December 3rd. And we've had eruptions, Strombolian. Volcan Volcanian eruptions from 1631 to 1944 period. These eruptions produce local heavy tephra falls, pyroclastic flows, as well as large fire fountains and lava flows, and subplinian explosions such as the one in 1631, and uh, Plinian in 79 AD, extremely large explosions, eruptions producing several to several tens of cubic kilometers of magma in a very short time. And then we had the eruptions 1796 to 1822, 1824 to 1834, 1835 to 39, basically ongoing this area right here uh, continually, and then it stopped. We had April 1944. Uh, let's go to our geodesy now to see what's happening there. And here we are, Italy. Let's go to Naples right there. Pompeii, let's go there. Okay, Naples, Pompeii, there it is. Let's go there. There we go. Vesuvius National Park. And um, let's go to this one here, this GPS. It's not very good, but it shows it's, it's going... Uh, this show is going east and north. It's going northeast. In other words, it's going this way. And it is all over the place. It's all over the place. Okay, let's go to another one. Let's go to the um, northeast of that. Okay, this is much better as we can see. Again, it's going northeast. And it's this one shows that it's deflating. And let's go to something here around this area, Naples. This is going northeast and it's pretty steady. And let's go to another one near Naples. Uh, this one here, very close to the one that we just saw, northeast and all over the place. And let's go to Oh, what is this? What is this? That's another volcano right there. For you, Ischia. Okay, this is, uh, this is amazing. This is really inflating. Look at this. From 2015 up to now, really inflating. And it's going north, but it was going uh, west and then east, west, east, west, east. Now it's going west. It's going northwest, in other words, this way, and it's really inflating. Okay, Parsuli, Parsuoli. Let's go to this one here. Ischia. It's going northeast. This one is deflating. So Naples is inflating, and this area is deflating. Look at these craters here. Let's go to this one. Northeast and inflating. Okay, let's go. Did we take this one? Northeast and inflating. So Naples is inflating. And one of them in, in this area, where did we say that it was going all over the place? No, that's, that's steady. But Swally, this one is going all over the place. A lot of movement there, but basically Naples is inflating. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.